What up, fam? It's your boy, G. Rich. I got one for you. These are beef neck bones. Yes, sir. 100% beef. Look at that. Look how thick and juicy. Look at that. Look at it. It's full of meat. Okay, so that's about five and a half pounds. Ooh, we look at that, fam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm gonna put them in the oven at 325 degrees for three hours, between three and four hours. It took like three hours, okay? These are all the ingredients that you need. I'm not going to use the parsley flakes. The sea salt, uh, uh, seasoned salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, brown gravy powder, beef broth, and last but not least, Lipton onion soup mix. This is what it's called. Lipton onion soup mix, oven baked, uh, uh, beef neck bones. Those are carrots and uh, uh, green and red bell peppers. Uh, onions, I'm going to put some tomato paste mixed in together along with some beef broth. I'm going to use four cups, three first, three cups of beef broth, and the last cup I'm going to leave it plain. Okay, look at that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix this right up into the pan. What first thing I'm going to do is put some oil in the bottom of the pan, vegetable oil, fam. Yes, sir. Then I'm going to sprinkle some flour on top, all right, along with some onions and just a few onions and, and all the bell peppers, the red and green bell peppers, okay? Then we're going to save the carrots and the rest of the onions to the put on top. When I tell you, fam, it came out perfect, as I figured, it's, it's so good. You got gravy. It's, it's absolutely perfect. It's smothered absolutely perfect. And, fam, when I tell you it tastes like <laughs> like beef oxtails, uh, uh, oh, M, uh, uh, man, I tell you, you're going to love this. It just got my mouth watering right now, okay? So we're going in. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the uh, beef neck bones to the pan, okay? These are not beef short ribs, oxtail. These are beef neck bones. I tell you, it, man, fam, you're going to love it. I measured out some of the um, the powdered uh, seasoning, so you'll get a pretty a good understanding of what I did.
don't stop. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make this little juice. Now I'm going to use like three cups of beef broth. Okay, that's the fat-free beef broth. And I'm going to take one big giant tablespoon of tomato paste and mix it together. Okay, and then I'm going to add the last cup of beef broth. So I use four cups of beef broth and a half, about a big tablespoon full of tomato paste. And I mix it together and then I pour it inside the pan and that's what you're gonna need to make this dish absolutely perfect four cups so one of those containers full of beef broth it equals out to like four cups i have three right now and then i'm gonna add the rest it's a thing of beauty fam just pull it all around on the side just get it in there you'll see what i'm saying and then it's going to make his gravy but the tomato paste, the tomato taste will not dominate the flavor. So don't worry about that. It's going to accident. Actually, it's going to be in like an aphrodisiac to that gravy and that beef. Fam, stick with your boy. Okay, so here's the last cup of the beef broth. I'm pouring it in here. That's without tomato salt, the, the tomato paste, okay? You only need that amount of tomato paste with three cups. Look at that. That's the thing of beauty. Now we get ready to go into the oven for uh, three hours, at three, between three and four hours at 325 degrees. And it should be fork tender then sink then or even falling off the bone. Hold on tight. Be right back. All right, fam. So here I go. That's the big pot. Her name is Bex Bessie. Very deep. <laughs> I got Corey Greensman. There's the lima beans also I'm cooking. I got some rice. And we're gonna have some, I guess, some donut donuts. Or you all right, fam. We are finito. It took three hours at 325 degrees for the the um, the, the smothered beef neck bones. Okay, three hours. All right. And here we go with the lima beans and put the ham hocks in it look at that fam look at that's how you want your lima beans to be done all the way yes yeah, sir oh we look at that that was good lima beans all right and here's corey greens they just simmer cook look at look how they cook down that's how they supposed to look yes yeah, sir and bam mama there goes that man look at that Oh we let's check and let's check and see if this thing is fork tender. Look at look at the color. Oh fam, look 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 at fam. Look how it just roll off the bone. You see what I'm saying? Only until now do you understand. Look at that. You can mix around in the little gravy. Look, this is a thing of beauty. All right. Now here's my finished plate. And bam. There's my finished plate, fam. Look at that. Ooh, wee. Yes, sir. Some Lipton onion soup mix, oven baked beef neck bone. Simple as that. These are beef neck bones. And when family, when I tell you those things taste so good, they're made with that homemade gravy. That's how you want it. Lima beans with ham hocks in it. Ooh, wee. Green, uh, three different color greens, uh, collards, mustards, and turnips mixed together with um, smoked neck bones in it. Yes, sir. 
That's a thing of beauty. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I love y'all to life. G Rich out. In your mind. Bye, fam.